my toxic boy moms around the world are toad's gonna get this one i want to marry my son oh oh wait i i forgot everyone is so sensitive nowadays like can't a mother just be in love with her boy i'm just so in love with my 28 year old in a little weensy teensy boy oh just even thinking about James. Hey, mom. Emily, what have I said about interrupting mommy? I hate your existence. Have you scrubbed the tiles yet? Have you cleaned the plates yet? Get the fuck. Um, what the sigma? Um, what the sigma? When you realize you're gonna have to share the love of your life, my baby boy, with another female one day. Just a quick friendly reminder, ma'am, but your son is not cheating on you by finding a partner of his own in the future. Like, do you people not have a sniff of shame? I mean, that is your son, and you're already mad as hell thinking about how one day a female Yuck. Ugh, is gonna come and rip your son straight from your arms and force him to hate you. Which, just by the way, only happens if you're insufferable and overbearing like this, okay? It's, it's good to stop while you're ahead, ma'am. I say this in every single one of my toxic boy mom videos. You don't even know if Lil Bro is into girls. This is a kid you're talking about, a kid, a kid. Fantasizing about a child's love life, even if you're you're a parent in the future is so weird to me. I don't care what anyone says. I don't even care if this is an unpopular opinion. If my guess is correct, it looks like the kid is at most seven. Could you just imagine how the conversations go with these freakish toxic boy moms to get their small child sons to do crazy videos like this with them? Hey, sweetie pie, honey love, hope you're doing well. Can you pause for Fortnite for mommy because we need to make a TikTok together. I really just want to show the entire world that I'm in love with you. I'm a drama queen, drama queen. You're, you're taking it a little too far now, ma'am. No, he, she, they's everyone in between. I've, I feel like I'm very justified to feel weirded out by this. I would feel super uncomfortable if my love life was fantasized like this publicly, openly, on the internet. The hardest part part about being a boy mom is knowing one day he will leave my arms and love someone else just as much as he has loved me. Boy moms try to be normal challenge just for once, just one time. I'm begging, begging you. You see, these types of boy mums are so wrapped up in this strange thought process that one day their son is going to meet a woman and instantly her existence doesn't matter anymore. At this point, I genuinely think they don't understand the concept of different types of love. Do you love your husband in the same way that you love your dad? Probably not. Probably not, especially if you're not in bed with him, right? <laughs> I love my boyfriend and I love my parents. I know like it can happen simultaneously. We don't just have to get rid of the parents and then, oh my God, all my love can go to the boyfriend. No, 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 no. Sometimes when there's a problem around my house, I just want my dad to come over and fix it because I love him and I still think he's Superman. When I need advice from somebody or somebody to talk to or, you know, good ass food to be cooked, I'm gonna go to my mom because I love her and I still see her as superwoman. It's not that my boyfriend can't do any of those things or that I don't love him. It's that I love my parents too. Oh, daughter loves her parents and boyfriend at the same time challenge. <gasps> Gone. Right. You are not in a relationship with your son and he has no obligation to love you in the way you crave from a partner, a husband, a wife, a they friend even. Like he's your kid, ma'am. Stop kissing up on him like that and go find a romantic partner to make out with. But oh, I just know that if she had a girl, she would would not feel this same way about her daughter. Like period. What I have noticed about 
about this toxic boy mum genre of content over on TikTok or on Instagram Reels, because it's getting quite popular on there for some reason, they don't put their daughters on the same pedestal as they do with their sons. And there is something so sinister about that. And I've always heard from these kinds of parents that it's just the boys hit different. Mm. Somebody is called the police. <laughs> Generally, there should not be a different kind of love that you have for your little boy as opposed to your little girl because she's not a boy. It, it reminds me of when people have gender disappointment. Like, I get it. You probably had this life planned out in your head with a specific gender of child, but you should be happy with whatever you get because some people can't have children. The boys don't hit different. You just need therapy. But that's the thing. Why are there so many videos of weird mums showcasing this strange behavior towards their sons as if everyone's gonna be in the comments like, yes, queen, I don't want my mini boyfriend finding someone else in the future. I don't want him to grow up and have his own thoughts and opinions and feelings. No, he should be with mama bear forever. If I'm to make a guess, it'd be some sort of insecurity in themselves that they carry. Maybe these mums feel as though that they're not good enough. Maybe it comes from the fact that they don't have that kind of romantic spot fulfilled by a partner, by a romantic partner. So they kind of replace that with this false hope of their sons being under their roof until they literally cock it. Or maybe it could be a level of these mums when they were kids seeing how their mums were treating their sons and their Four, they're continuing that toxic cycle of low-key emotional incest. Because usually parents just aren't like this and this genre of content is a loud minority as it's so uncouth seeing parents put their kids in their strange ass TikToks like this. Being a boy mom is like having an overly clingy boyfriend without the romantic ties. Brother, oh... This is an old post. Take it down immediately! Take it down! Why are you referring to your literal son as your boyfriend? I can't. I can't do it. I'm just like slowly losing my mind with each and every video that I do here on drama. No, like seriously, this has got to stop. This is getting so weird and so genuinely concerning. I genuinely need to know what this obsession is with people having having their sons play the role of a mini husband because this is what it's coming down to. In 2024, I thought we'd be seeing the pair phone finally come to fruition or maybe, I don't know, trains that go from Australia to America, but no, no! We're seeing an influx of parents posting straight up cringe and I don't use that word freely. I use it quite rarely, okay? I'm a self-professed cringe, so I advocate for the cringe, but, but not this cringe. This actually makes me wish I had a self-deleted in 2016. I'm just joking. I'm just joking, okay? Just jokes. It's just, come here, come here. It's just jokes. You know, if I had to take a wild guess, I would have to say that this toddler is just being a toddler. Toddlers, from my research, as I, I don't really interact with toddlers, are uh, very clingy to their parents very early on in life. That is completely normal. And you would want to hope that your kid is very clingy towards you and not a iPad. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. Okay, sorry, sorry. I had to drop that in there. It's nothing like having a quote unquote clingy boyfriend without romantic ties. Because what she's basically implying here is that her son does fulfill the role as a mini boyfriend just without the mattress actress action, which shouldn't happen anyways. This is so obvious. I don't need to say it. I could, you know, a pig knows this. A, a cat knows this. Now, people were not happy with this video whatsoever, especially because it was sent to the Drama Queen submissions email at least a hundred times. Like last week, I genuinely thought the emails was popping off because someone very important died and apparently I need to know that, but, but uh, no, no. That's called emotional incest. And the mom responds, I'd recommend Google before using big words. Okay, ma'am. 
Let, let's look that up. So according to healthline.com, emotional incest is defined as an unhealthy family dynamic where a parent relies on their child for emotional and practical advice and support. Incest refers to inappropriate emotional closeness. And you could very well argue that that's not what's happening here, but maybe don't refer to your actual child as your boyfriend. And you wouldn't have people online thinking there's something weird going on because let's get a bit personal for a secy. I have had experience with a dude whose mum hated me and in front of me she would openly call her son babe and my sexy boy. No these weren't jokes, she was genuinely being serious. On top of that she wouldn't even acknowledge my presence or my existence when stuff like that would take place. I have never been disliked by parents before, mostly because I'm quite antisocial and I just listen to music. Uh, it's nothing really crazy going on down here. But the one thing that really scared me away was the more than 10 second long kisses. Like it was watering along making out and it wasn't, it wasn't something that my mentally ill brain could put up with. I just, that's it. That's it. That's the end. Closing that book. Tell me you're a boy mom without telling me you're a boy mom. Oh, I think I just tasted a bit of up chuck. Seeing this shit genuinely makes me grateful for my parents because I couldn't imagine anyone in real life being okay with having their ass slapped not only by their children but anyone in general like this. Like okay sometimes my boyfriend and I will get a little playful, we'll get in you know our little WWE modes and but a boom or oh babe you're cooking a nice dinner, smack that ass and you know it, it's appropriate because because it's something that I have consented to, of course. Now, it's a lot different with parents. People were saying in the comments how this is just a white thing, but as a fellow white, I just want to say that this doesn't happen. At least it's never happened in my household. It's never happened in other whites households that I have personally viewed. Maybe it is a normal thing, but I would like to think that it's not. But one of these days, one of the kids is just going to go up to a random girl at school and smack her butt because he does it at home and it's appropriate at home. So why isn't it appropriate outside of the house? And you're going to run into issues where your sons are, you know, their faces probably aren't going to be on their heads for too much longer. As a mum of three boys, no, this isn't normal. Crazy that somebody even needs to give that kind of clarification. With all of these videos that I'm seeing, I'm just starting to believe, are, are just all boy mums like this? this genuinely like if you're a boy mom watching this right now what is it that causes this behavior I don't get it it just icks me out though because this mom not only had the idea come to her mind of filming this TikTok for all of her boys to smack her ass but to actually proceed with that idea and fully carry it out to fruition is so Creepy man. I don't care what anyone says, all right? It always reminds me of the people who are like, well, you don't know the different family dynamics. I don't need to know the different family dynamics people may have. Uh, I'm looking at it and I'm feeling uncomfortable and multiple other people are too. So it tells me that it's not normal. On average, the human mind generates 60,000 thoughts a day. Some of them are bad thoughts, some of them are good thoughts. Some of them are uh, little insane thoughts. And this is one of them. On top of that, the original poster knows that she has done something wrong here because the comments are off. And given the fact that, you know, people turn off their comments for various reasons, I've noticed on TikTok in particular, somebody will just be getting hate on the most random, insignificant, non-harmful video, and they just have to turn the comments off because it's like, why would you want to deal with that? But this is different. This one is different. I'm sorry. Jeez, bro. They just keep going. Ah, kill me. My husband still lets his mom cut his toenails. Is this a red or green flag? Red. 
Red. He is a grown ass man. I'm sure he can cut them himself. He's got fingers, does he? Does he not? He's got nail clippers. But let me guess, he's grown out his toenails and he knows that mummy is going to take care of it because he's being conditioned in that way, you see. If mummy sees something, she's just gonna do it. So why should I bother doing it anyway if someone else is going to do it? People were literally saying, oh, just like let this mum feel needed. Like, it's not a red flag whatsoever. I don't know. I just, maybe again, different family dynamics come from different families, but I would genuinely feel very disrespectful towards my parents if I was just to let my toenails grow out and be like, cut them, cut them. Mum can still feel needed in other ways. Like, I don't know, maybe helping out with the kids. Uh, hel helping cook a fantastic meal. Mums are really good at doing that. Nothing beats a home cooked meal from mum if you had a mum that cooked really good, of course. <laughs> but uh, hey, maybe I'm just yapping. Son, let's go on a date. No way, Jose. Why? We've been dating since you were one. Pause, pause. I am itchy all over because people think you're my girlfriend now. Sucks for you, bro. We're dating anyways. I fought for these dates. The boy mum either go burr here. <laughs> I feel genuinely terrible for this dude's future partners. And you want to know why? Because if I had have seen something like this personally, just because of my own values, morals, all that, I would have been scared off. It would have been a complete red flag because it's like, okay, well, what happens when we get married and she can't have as much time from you that you used to be able to give her? What happens then? Is she just going to slash my tie? try and do the shit that was happening on this ass show because you just know in the future once this dude finds his life partner she's going to pressure the hell out of him to continue spending endless amounts of time with her and I'm sorry but it comes to a point where that is genuinely not possible anymore even to the point like most other toxic boy mums of getting jealous of his future partner because she's taking him away from me that is my property it reminds me much like like of men and sometimes the way they be treating their girlfriends and you flip that and it's a toxic boy mom with a son. And look, I know I'm writing fanfic here, but it's real life. It happens far too often for it to not be talked about. I am just so glad that my mom did not treat my little brother this way because yeah, this behavior is abnormal and has no basis to be happening in the first place. It's not healthy to be acting like this with your son as they will never live up to who you want them to be, which is your boyfriend, which is impossible most of the time anyway. <laughs> Oh my god! What really struck me though was that bit of I fought for these dates. Like, why why are you trying to compete with his love interests? That's that's weird, bro. You're weird. Your beanie is weird. I know it's a hard pill to swallow for toxic boy mums, but at some point your children are going to go out into the world and create a life of their own. Unfortunately, they can't spend the rest of their lives with you, and it's up to you to go to therapy and find the root of that that issue that makes you so possessive of your sons because none of this behavior is healthy. None of it is okay at all either because you also damage these kids and make them super codependent on you, which is not okay. I encourage independence because again, that kind of codependency can leak into future relationships and those other people don't deserve to be bled on just because they were cut by you. Just because your sons date around and have boyfriends or girlfriends doesn't mean you're exiled from their life altogether because now they have someone that they supposedly love more. And look, I still can't believe that the Toxic Boy Mom series is still even going stronger than ever. But it just goes to show that this behavior is absolutely normalized in a lot of children's lives, which is so unfortunate to see as a bystander and a viewer at that because because these kids, they just will never be able to live up to their mum's expectations if it continues to go that way. I'm sorry, but you're just not meant to have these kind of relationships with your children, point blank period. Don't care the gender, don't care how old, it's not 
supposed to happen. So with all that being said, everybody, have you had experience with a toxic boy mom? You know, we already spoke about the fact that I have and it really created, I think, a little bit of a bias within myself where I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to be involved with anyone whose mom is so f obsessed with them like that because then they're just going to be giving me a hard time and I don't deserve that. It's not my fault that you have issues, you know? So thank you for your stay at Yappersville today, everybody. I hope to see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves and most of all, love your fucking selves.